first question comes from Rebecca Harlow. Coach, before the game, you were telling us how Peyton has set the tone for you guys, particularly defensively. But the way that he's breaking down the paint offensively, how has that really helped you? I mean, the, the points in the paint differential today, 50 to 28. Well, it's huge, and, and I think it's one of his strengths. I think his size is problematic, and it puts pressure on the defense. And if you can force the defense to collapse, it'll create easy scoring opportunities for us, whether it be his scoring or the shots that you get off of it. And oftentimes, it also leads to second shots. So it, when he's pushing the ball and he's getting into the paint, it creates havoc. And, and then he has the responsibility of making the proper rim read once he gets there and he's done that. And so, and then you got to chase, you know, Lillard around for, you know, through a million screens and, and he did it on that end. And, you know, you can't overlook what Mitch was doing as well. He, he gave us great effort and that's not an easy task. So we had a lot of guys step up. It was a good team win for us. Steve Popper, Tuesday. Hey, Tom, just the team as a whole in the fourth quarter, I, th I think forced maybe six turnovers. Um, just kind of what you guys did, getting the ball out of Lillard's hands at times and, and turning them over as much as you did. I'm sorry. Uh, just say, saying uh, in the fourth quarter, you guys as a team, I think forced six turnovers. And um, and also you know, the job you guys did getting other someone other than Lillard to shoot uh, much of the time. Yeah, well, Lillard is, you know, he puts so much pressure on you. And, you know, you have to be active with your hands, but it's your feet, really. Your hands aid you, but your feet, and it can't be where you, you can't lock your feet at any any point. So you're, if you're blitzing, it's got to be a running trap. If you're, you know, if it's a handoff, you have, you have something different on that. And then you, it's tight with five guys together and, you got to get in early, but you know, because of the way they shoot the three, you've got to also fire out and, and cover that line. So it requires multiple effort. And I thought in the second half, we were better at that, but our ball pressure was a lot better in the second half. Mark Berman, New York Post. Hey, Tom, uh, are you uh, feeling pretty good about sort of the stability that you brought with the starting lineup, keeping the same starting lineup, and you feel it's paying off a little bit? Mark, you know I never feel pretty good. <laughs> but, um, you know, like I said, it, 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 nothing's set in stone, and I like the way both groups are playing. And yeah, both groups have different strengths, and they fit well together. So when we play that way and we play together and we play hard and play smart and we're willing to share the ball, there, there's good things that can come from that. So, and then oftentimes it, you see something out there that that's working well and you, you stick with that a little bit longer and there's versatility. We have guys that can play multiple positions so you can move guys around a little bit and, uh, and that's been good. And uh, I also don't want to overlook uh, Taj Gibson being ready to go. You know, Nerland's out today and Taj steps right in and, and does a terrific job. And, you know, he's, he's a great teammate. He's always ready. And when he's not playing, he adds so much to practice and he keeps everyone uh, united and working hard. So his contributions to the team, all those guys who aren't playing much, he, we can't overlook that. It's, it's a critical part of the team. Ian Bagley, SNY. Tom, if I could sneak two in. Uh, one, how did you think quickly handled the, the traps from Portland, particularly early on? And then the second one would be um, the, I think he had a three and then a steal and then Alfred comes in. Was that mainly defense that you were looking for there? What, what was the thought there? Yeah, pretty much. You know, I, I like the way uh, Alfred was going. I thought quick, obviously they, they were trying to get the ball out of his hands and the same thing with, with RJ. And I thought we did a good job. Anytime you get two on the ball, that's what you want. And it forces rotation. And then it's on us to make the right play and to get the ball out of the trap quickly and make the second pass. And when we did that, I thought we got high percentage uh, shots. I thought we, we made 13 threes, I believe, today. And so that's, that's a positive for us. Steph Bondi, Daily News. Hey, Tom. Um, considering you know what the projections were this season and the the youth on this roster and having the lowest payroll, 
in the NBA. Does it feel good? Does it feel like you accomplished something being, you know, sixth in the Eastern Conference, the third through the season? Well, like I said, I don't want us to feel too good about where we are because right now there's there's a long way to go. I want us to feel good about the way we're approaching things. I know if we practice well and we concentrate on our improvement and get ready for the next opponent, that we'll have a good chance to win. But in this league, the one thing I do know, you, as soon as you start feeling too good about yourself, that's usually when you get knocked down. And that holds true for every team in the league. So I think the important thing for us is to build the proper habits each and every day. And uh, we want to be playing our best at the end. And so every day, come in, put everything you have into it, and then let's see where it goes. We have time for two more questions. Peter Body, New York Post. Tom, hi, a uh, smaller thing. Uh, you didn't go back to Rivers in the in the second half there. Um, you're just shortening your rotation there. I know he struggled the last couple of games. Yeah, just a, just a coach's decision. But, you know, we need everybody. So it's just the way the game was flowing. Rebecca Harlow. Coach, you touched on this, but, you know, when your approach here is to just get better every day, when you have a game where you've got six different players in double figures, how far does that go from a confidence pack factor? What do you see in that regard as you're trying to build these habits? Well, I think it's, I think it's critical. It's, you know, it's how hard we can go. It's how smart we can be and how together we can be. And that's, that's why it's, it's a team game. So you, you have to rely on everyone in every aspect of the game, it, you know, whether it's your, your offense, your, your defense, you're, you're doing it together. And if one person's not doing their job, you're not going to be efficient. And you're not you're not going to be successful. So I think the willingness to hit the open man, make the extra pass, that stuff goes a long way. Because if you're not doing that, it takes away from the other end too. Then you're not going to be willing to help. You're not going to be willing to commit to, to sprinting back and doing all the things that are necessary to be strong on both sides of the ball. So I think the t togetherness factor is critical. I think the work factor is critical. Uh, there's different roles on every team, but the work part is equal for everyone. And to have a successful team, we need everyone willing to sacrifice for the greater good of the team. And I think these guys have done that thus far. Thank you, Coach. Thanks. Hi, everyone. RJ Barrett here. If you have a question, raise your hand. I'll bring you into the room. First question comes from Rebecca Harlow. RJ, another terrific game from you today. And, you know, overall with six different players in double figures and all of the work that this team is putting in right now, how much are you enjoying the process when everyone's willing to sacrifice for the greater good of the team? You know, it's beautiful. You love to, you love to see it. You love to, you know, just go out there and, and, and play with a bunch of guys that, you know, want to win. And uh, we're doing things that are necessary right now. So it's a great feeling. Ian Begley, SNY. Sorry, RJ. Um, just, you know, defensively for you guys today, what, what was the thinking coming in against this team that had, had played so well against you guys, you know, a few days ago? I mean, uh, you know, Dame is such a, such a great player. I think we're just kind of really try to get the ball out of his hands, you know, uh, as much as possible. Mitch did a great job, you know, trapping and, uh, and, and EP did a great job just chasing him around all game. So, uh, you know, I, I really think that was, that was a big thing. And then we got a lot of rebounds too, so yeah. Mark Berman, New York Post. Hey, RJ, a lot of teams have had a lot of flux with COVID situations and you guys have been pretty healthy. Do you feel it's paying off this kind of stability that you guys have had through 24 games? Um, I think, you know, we're, we're, we're able to continue to work hard every day. We're able to, you know, learn each other um, more and more. And, uh, you know, it's not something that you could take for granted. Uh, we're very appreciative of it and, um, just, you know, hope that it just continues. Mike Mancuso. RJ, uh, back to the defense for a moment. You know, Portland scores a lot of points to hold them to 99 overall, not just the job you did on Lillard, but to hold them to 99 points. Can you talk about the defense that you guys played against them, the entire team? Yeah, like I said, you know, we're trying to get it to ball out name fans. Uh, Mitch and EP did a great job. And then we all rotated on the, on the back line and uh, we're, we're getting a rebound. Thank you, RJ. Thank you.
Hey everyone, we have Julius Randall here. If you have a question, raise your hand and I'll bring you into the room. Rebecca Harlow, MSG Network. Julius, this Blazers team is prolific offensively, obviously, but today, particularly in the second half, they never really looked comfortable out there. What did you guys take away from them to defend so effectively? Uh, well, we knew it would be a, a multiple effort game, so uh, we had to um, obviously take care of the problem, which is Dame. You know, he's the, the head of the snake for them. Um, he creates most of the problems, so uh, we just tried to show him as many bodies as we could, and uh, like I said, it was going to be a multiple effort game. So whenever uh, he gave the ball up, we knew we had to get out, contest shots, um, and then fly around and, and get rebounds. Amanda Hajar, Next Digital. Hey, Julius, uh, can you just talk about kind of the chemistry and, and, and depth of the squad? It seems like, you know, you got your starters in your bench and then coach likes to, to mix up the lineups in game. Just talk about the chemistry with no matter who you're playing with on the court. Yeah, um, we got, like you said, we got a lot of bodies, a lot of different guys who bring um, different things to the table. So uh, it's always good, especially uh, in the NBA uh, throughout the course of a long season and uh, with this season as well, um, playing so many games in such a short period of time. Um, it's always good to be deep, have a lot of guys, uh, a lot of bodies, uh, people who can bring production to the court. So um, it's great. A lot of different people stepped up tonight. Um, it was a collective team effort. We got to win. And, uh, we're happy about it. We just got to, you know, rest up and, and get ready for tomorrow. Rebecca Harlow. Julius, when Coach said, you know, one of the things he said was everyone's willing to sacrifice for the greater good of the team. Mm -hmm. How much are you enjoying the process of this team growing together when everyone's bringing that attitude to the table? Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, when the only thing that matters is when, uh, it's just something about our team spirit, our team chemistry that, um, you know, we feel like if we all come together and, you know, put the team first, um, play for each other, play hard and, and stick to, you know, the great game plan that our coaches are giving us, uh, we feel like we have a good shot to win every night. Um, so uh, it's a lot of fun for sure. Ian Bagley, S and Y. Yeah, Julius, you know, you guys are, I think, in sixth place right now in the East. It's still pretty early, but just as somebody who was here last year, here this year, what kind of role has, has Tom Thibodeau played in your early season success so far as a team? A uh, huge role, a huge role. Uh, he keeps us mentally sharp, uh, prepared. Uh, you know, he's obviously great with his game plans and stuff like that, but his intensity, his edge that he gives us and he brings every day is, uh, is second to none. So uh, coach is doing an amazing job. He's putting us all in, in, in great positions on the court. Uh, we're all extremely comfortable uh, with what he's having us do out there. And, um, you know, he has us all bought in, uh, which is, you know, uh, uh, something that you, you know, you can't really ask uh, for more than that. You know, a, a coach who's going who's gonna to lead us and, and have everybody buy in and we're seeing the results, you know, we're seeing, the, you know, the fruits of our labor. So uh, we just got to stay with it, um, just keep playing for each other, keep being unselfish and uh, keep, keep winning some games. Dennis Gorman, AP. Hey, Julius, just to kind of uh, follow up on, on Rebecca and Ian's questions, when you're having the success that you're having, do you think it causes guys to, to buy in even more than they've already been buying in? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, it's like anything in life. I mean, you see something's working. Um, you keep going to it. You want more if you want to keep doing more. Um, and that's just what it is for us. You know, we feel like uh, Coach is doing a great job of, of, like I said, pushing us, giving us that edge, giving us great game plans, um, make sure we lock in on the fundamentals every day. Uh, whatever it is, uh, you know, he's doing a great job and we're seeing the success of that and we feel like we can get even better. So, um, you know, we just want to do, keep doing it, keep doing more of it and just keep building. Thank you, Julius. Yeah, thank you, guys. Hey, everyone, we have Alfred Payton here. If you have a question, raise your hand and I'll bring you into the room. Rebecca Harlow. Alfred, before the game, coach was saying that you know, he really appreciates the way that you're setting the tone defensively. And coming from Thibodeau, that's quite the compliment that you're the guy that's able to do that for this team. I mean, how much are you enjoying that role? Um, it's fun. It's tough. Um, you know, he's hard on me, uh, always pushing me. But, you know, uh, you know, I accept the challenge. So it's been good. 
Amanda Hajar next digital. Hey, P, can you talk about your aggressiveness, uh, especially over these last two games offensively, just, just trying to score any way you can? Uh, no, honestly, just trying to be in the paint, get in the paint and uh, make the right reads. Uh, you know, grace of God, uh, you know, shots been falling and uh, been able to get a couple wins. Steve Popper, Newsday. Hey, Alfred, sometimes we'll hear something from Tom, you know, talking about closing out on threes or defense in the fourth quarter. And then we see it convert today to you guys doing those things. How much of a difference has he made a third of the way through season, the season on what you guys are doing? Uh, huge difference. Um, he continues to challenge us every day. Uh, he's always on us. Um, you know, he almost demands perfection. And, uh, you know, we don't always get that, but we get close. And, uh, you know, we've been able to carve out a few wins. So uh, he's been good for us. Steph Bondi, Daily News. Hey, Alfred, for, for those of us not in the huddles, when you say um, Thibodeau is hard on you, like, what, what does that mean? Like, is, it, is that in practice? What are some of the things he do, does that shows that he's demanding? Uh, practice, film, um, you know, timeouts. Um, you know, he's just on us. You know, you think you're doing a good job and uh, he wants you to be better. And, you know, that's all you can ask for somebody to continue to push you, uh, demand excellence, because, you know, it's hard to win this league. It's not easy. Um, and he knows that, and, uh, you know, we've been able to get a few wins, so it's definitely helping us. Ian Bagley, SNY. So Alfred, just one more follow-up on, on Tibbs, and I, I don't know, I don't, I don't want you to, like, compare him to all your other coaches, but just for context, like, ha is it rare for a coach to be on you guys that much at this level, or is it, is it common? Um... No, I don't think it's rare. It's just, you know, everybody has their own coaching style. Um, you know, this, and this is what works for him. So um, it's not rare. I've had coaches that, you know, have been tough on me, uh, on teams. Uh, but, you know, everybody has their own style. We have time for two more questions. Peter Body, New York Post. Elford, hey, what is the specific challenge when you're going up against a guy like Willard, um, you know, and how do you feel like you and quickly did against him today? Um, you know, challenges, you know, somebody who's a very good scorer, um, can get it going, uh, can shoot from anywhere on the court, uh, very aggressive. Um, I think we did, I think we did a good job. Um, but like I said, I always say like, it's a team thing. Uh, you don't stop guys like that, uh, one, but one man, um, the team did a good job. We had a good game plan and, uh, we was able to execute. Rebecca Harlow. Yeah, Alfred, you know, when you're talking about being pushed and that you thrive in that kind of environment where he's demanding that kind of perfection, how much easier, I guess, is it when you also have a team full of guys who are willing to sacrifice themselves for the greater good of the team? Um, I mean, it definitely makes it easier. Um, you know, it's tough. Like, it's, it's tough. It's tough. I mean, you look down the line. Everybody could contribute, um, and, you know, some nights they don't get a chance to, um, and it's tough, but, you know, when you look around and you know that we all, you know, striving for one goal and that's win this game by any, whatever game it is by any means, um, it makes it a lot easier. So uh, guys are, you know, bought in and pulling for one another. And let the chips fall where they may. Thank you, Alfred. Thanks.